this week I'm going to be doing something different. I'm going to be doing a drive-in chat. But before we get into that, I just wanted to thank Dawn Biederman Hall for buying me five coffees last week. And she said to go, the five coffees are to go towards Scruffy's vet bills. Thank you so much, Dawn. I really appreciate it. And Scruffy appreciates it as well. And if you didn't know, I do have a Patreon. Uh, join August 1st and not today, because if you join August 1st, or if you join today, you'll get charged for July and August on August 1st. So that's all I have to say. Thank you so much, everyone. I really appreciate all the support you've shown my channel. And let's get into the drive-in chat. Bye. Hi, Fart Faces. It's me, Beth B. Today I'm doing a drive-in chat because I'm driving to a uh, boot camp and I don't really have time to sit down and film a whip and chat so I might I was like I might as well take this opportunity to say hello to y'all and record my whip and chat but it's gonna be a drive and chat a drive and chat so currently I'm working on the what is it called oh my god look at that car on the left hand side it's so nice <laughs> I'm working on northern spirit so what ended up happening was I started that black bunny cat it was a black cat with money and he was wearing a gold chain and stuff um but it was square and it ended up like being really poppy and i'm not convinced that the rendering will turn out so i stopped working on that i still have it kitted up and stuff but i use tic tac containers and as much as i want to love tic tac containers i just can't literally cannot i why are they so small why is the <laughs> Why is the hole so small to begin with? And uh, just, uh, I don't know. I can't do it. I can't do it. So I give up on Tic Tac containers. Those will probably be destashed or given away or something like that. But yeah, I just, I just can't. And this person is driving so slow. Like, come on. Do you ever like get behind someone and you're like, why are you driving so slow? It's the ideal driving conditions. Like, come on. Huh. Anyway, sorry. Road rage. Road rage in the morning. It's 825. So today's Thursday. You'll be seeing this whip and chat or drive and chat on Friday. Pull out whatever you're working on and I'll just be driving while you're working. So you're being productive and I'm just like commuting to bot, uh, to boot fitness boot camp. So what was I going to say? Oh yeah. So Tic Tac containers are a no-go for me. They get an X. I would not recommend one out of 10. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. Like I love, I love how Tic Tac containers look kitted up, but I just, they don't work for me. The, like, they don't hold a lot. This hole is small. You spill drills when you're trying to get them back into the container. I just, I just can't, I cannot. This person needs to get out of the way, seriously. Okay, now, anyways. So, oh, I have news. I have news. Um, bum, 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 bum. Welcome to Bev B Radio 102.9. Uh, the news for this morning, it is a cool 19 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but it is a cool 19 degrees Celsius. And on today's news, we are going to be talking about the DP a thon. DP a thon. So, the DP a thon is basically 48 hours of live streaming by diamond painting YouTuber people. And what's going to happen is I am going to be live on Saturday at. Oh my god. I should know this. I'm Okay, look up at the screen right now if you're not doing anything. And that's the time I'm going to be live at on Saturday. Next Saturday, the 7th, I want to say. That's what I'm going to be live at. So make sure you join me. I'm going to be fundraising money for Wharf, which is white, white court, white horse, white horse animal rescue foundation. Oh my God, I should know that. But I'm fundraising for them because that's where we adopted Scruffy from. I'm not, like, don't get me wrong. I'm not like, let's raise a million dollars. I mean, if we could raise $30, $40, that would make me really happy. But, um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing. And I'm going to be live basically for an hour and a half. And we'll have some shenanigans. I'm sure it will turn inappropriate if certain people show up. 
because I just blame everyone else for it being inappropriate. It's not my fault that my lives turn inappropriate. No, not at all. So hopefully you guys are free on that Saturday at that time. I'll flash the time down here below again if I remember. And what else? Oh yeah, so my Oraloa is on its way finally. I uh, guess there were some issues with the production or the delivery of one of the canvases that I ordered, but I'm having another canvas sent to me. I'm really, really excited to be an ambassador for them. And you might be like, Beverly, why are you an ambassador for a company before you even tried it? And it's like, well, based on the fact that their customer service is fantastical, the people who own it or the guy who owns it is awesome. And I've seen unboxings and close-ups of the canvas and the toolkit and the drills and everything. And everything looks super awesome to me, which is why I decided to become an ambassador. Okay? So don't give me any crap in the comments about, mm, you haven't even tried them yet. So, and it's like, I saw an opportunity and I took it. So, hello, welcome. Welcome. Don't, don't at me, bro. <laughs> whatever people say but yeah I'm super excited for my kids to arrive they ship from France and Canada and hello I'm in Canada so I'm super excited because it shouldn't take long to arrive here at all I have four count that four kits on the way from Oraloa I'm so freaking excited you don't even know if you do they have Hannah Lynn licensed and they have licensed other licensed artists uh lots of like really cute paintings if you're interested in purchasing from them um you can use my discount code bevb so just bevb and you can get 10 percent off by using that discount code so i'd appreciate it if you use my code but you don't have to if you want to pay full price that's totally up to you i don't care it is your money you do whatever you need to do I don't know why I'm singing. Is this a musical day? It's a musical day. Okay, sorry. I, it's like too early in the morning. It's not even that early. Oh my God. So the cyclist on the side of the road totally just reminded me. I freaking, freaking almost hit a cyclist yesterday going, coming home from Tim Hortons. Literally, they were on the sidewalk. And here, I don't know what it's like in your city, but in Edmonton, pedestrians have the right of way but cyclists aren't pedestrians they're counted as cars so technically if you're riding a bicycle on the sidewalk it's illegal I mean obviously children can ride on the sidewalk and there's like little like things that exempt you from the law but honestly um it's like you're a car if you're a cyclist so technically this person should have been riding on the road to begin with but they're coming off the sidewalk like out of the 7-Eleven and they saw me coming. They saw me coming. I saw her look at my car. She looked at me in the eye and then she just freaking started riding her bike on the road. Like WTF. Like, are you looking to get hit by a car? So basically I had to swerve to the left because she's coming off the right hand side of the road. I had to swerve and I was like, what the heck? I'm not going to swear on here. Um, I was just so mad. So I like honked really long and I was like, are you stupid? Um, so yeah, that happened. That made me so mad because I'm like, you're so dumb. Literally, I will kill you with my car and you saw me coming. So why, why did you act like such an idiot? Some people like should not be allowed to go on the road, whether they're cycling or driving a car. Some people should just, who was it that said Someone said this. Was it Laura or was it Jeremy? Uh, JTMJ Crafts or Anxiety Art Adventures, another uh, their YouTubers. One of them said you should drive right to the DMV and get your license revoked or something like that. I forget what they said, but it was really funny and I was like, that's how I feel. <laughs> that is how I feel. So we are pulling up to my boot camp place. Literally, it is 8.30. I am here a half an hour early. I always get here super early because I don't know why. I don't know. So, here I am. <laughs> here I am super early, but I guess I can chat with you guys in my car. 
want to do a face to face? Should we do a face to face? That might be too difficult. I don't I don't know if I'll do a face to face. But here's my car. You can see it in the reflection. <sighs> okay, let's do a face to face. One second. Let me roll down my window. it's me so um dpathon oral oral uh what else did i have to say i had some other stuff i wanted to talk about i don't remember now i had notes literally i had notes um Patreon, there's almost a new month of Patreon starting, so if you are interested in joining my Patreon, all you have to do is go to patreon.com slash justbev, but don't do it today, do it on the 1st of August, because if you do it today, you'll be charged for July, and then you'll be charged again for August when August 1st comes, so if you want to join, feel free to, does this going to, this isn't going to work, I was like, I don't want to hold the camera, and what else, what else is happening, um, Work has been good. I was really stressing about a work thing and I'm still stressing about it, but I've just been putting off this email for like two weeks now and I know I need to send it. So I'm gonna send that today. And I had my first training set or my first in-person training session with a client. We did a training session session before that previously, but it was online, but we did an in-person one at her house. So that was fun and she's really nice she's just kind of slow at computers which is like okay whatever like understandable and so i'm just working on my patience right now because i need patience because i need to remember that not everyone is technical technologically savvy as i am and scruffy update he's still in his cone still in his cone he looks really cool he looks really cool, but he looks so sad. He's like so depressed. We take off his cone for a little bit, like an hour or two a day for him to like groom himself and stuff, but he still scratches at his ear. So that's why we're keeping his cone on. And I don't know. Oh, I got my second vaccine on Tuesday and we got home and I was just like gonna die literally I felt like I was going to die because I was so tired and just like at 7 o'clock 7 p.m. I was like I'm ready for bed like is it bad if I go to bed already so but I didn't go to bed already um, I slept basically on the couch till 9 30 and then I stayed up and then I went to bed at midnight and Clayton felt the same way like he was really tired too so it has something to do with the vaccine at least we both were feeling tired and then Wednesday was a write-off I literally didn't come to boot camp I didn't really do anything and I was so tired after so basically we slept all day Wednesday until seven ish six six in the evening we got up and like we had Tim Hortons and but yeah, most of the day was spent sleeping. I barely got any work done yesterday. I barely diamond painted. I did kit up Northern Spirit though because I started working on Northern Spirit and oh, I, yeah, I started working on that black cat, money cat. Did I say this already? I can't remember, but the squares are popping. So I stopped working on it. So I'm currently working on Northern Spirit and I like it so far. It's a lot of color blocking, which is nice because I love color blocking and the I just like how the the kits from Crafties are charted. They're really nice. Um, I need to do a post review of Namiko who from Crafties that I actually did by Civil Arts. Her she didn't turn out that nice. Like I was like, did I kit this up wrong? But I was looking at everyone else's pictures and it's very similar like she has rhinestones on her face and I was like this looks weird so I'm gonna post my post review but first I am going to triple check that I didn't kit it up wrong and put the wrong drills where they're not supposed to be because literally there's rhinestones 
all along her face like here and it's really it's really weird really weird and what else did I have to say other things my hair is in a bun today I don't know if you can see my scalp is really dry so like right here I have this dry patch and it's like my skin is peeling I'm disgusting I'm gross guys um I'm so gross not that gross, but I'm still gross. Uh, Drea was on my live. Thank you so much, Drea, for being live with me on Tuesday. We had a lot of fun. I hope it wasn't awkward. I felt like kind of awkward because I never know what to ask people. And like, I never really talked with Drea like verbally. We just like chatted like through chat and direct message on Facebook and, and like live chat on YouTube. We've never really talked to each other. So, I don't, I don't know. I hope it wasn't awkward for her. She's like, no, you did great, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I feel like it was awkward. And like, I didn't know what to ask her. My face is probably dry. You're welcome, guys. This is the real Bev B. Love me or hate me. <laughs> um, so yeah, so Drea was live with me. Thank you so much, Drea. Uh, I'll leave her channel link down below and you guys can go watch the replay if you want to. Currently watching this lady in her van. No, it's not a lady, it's a dude. Oops. He's wearing a vest. Usually there's a lady here who comes in her van. So I thought it was that lady's van, but again, I guess it's another dude's van. Um, haven't ordered any new diamond paintings besides Oraloa. And I'm getting two sent to me for free because I'm an ambassador, but um, there's a lot of exciting things happening with Oraloa, so I'm really excited, but with other diamond painting companies, I haven't ordered anything. I think I might order Mary's Diamonds from their standard collection, so Mary's Diamonds released their standard collection on like the 24th or something like that, and it's basically, let me check what time it is, it's basically diamond paintings that... Oh, it's only 840. It's basically diamond paintings that are licensed, but through licensing houses like Shutterstock, iStock, that type of thing. So they release that uh, collection. It's about 50 different canvases. If you haven't checked them out, it's marysdiamonds.com. And if you use the code, I think her code is still active, Jade 20, J A D E 20. Uh, that's Jade Akins, Jade the Taylor's. Uh, discount code with Mary's Diamonds. If you use that, uh, you'll get 20% off. And I might be ordering from them Black Cat Midnight, Midnight Black Cat, something like that is back in stock on Diamond Art Club, but literally it's $96 and I can't, plus shipping, so I can't justify the price. Honestly, like, I don't know. I'm not on a no buy. I'm an I'm on a no diamond painting budget, <laughs> and that's something I said in my last Patreon video. I was like, it's not called a no buy. It's called a no budget, no diamond painting budget <laughs> thing. Because if y'all know how much I paid for my taxes, you'll know why I'm not on. A, I'm on a no buy. Like literally, literally, it's really depressing to think about. But anyways, um also partially my fault because I haven't filed my taxes since 2019 and they told me that I need to file my taxes or else I'm going to get in trouble so I filed my 2019 taxes and I deserve whatever I got I guess it's the government it's the government I had oh I'm so thirsty I'm going to drink some water guys okay um what else was I saying no buy, Diamond Art Club. Oh yeah, so I perfected my putty, but I'm going to call it gum because I like the idea of it. It's more of a gum consistency for diamond painting, so I'm super stoked for that. I need to get the fragrances correct, and then I will launch them. I have a list of people that I want to send them to for review. Um, I'm going to see maybe if I can talk to Katie or Jessica about donating some of my gum to... It's diamond painting gum, not chewing gum. If I can donate some of it to Drills and Chills for a prize or something like that, but we'll see what they have to say because I don't know what they're doing for prizes this year. 
um, I think I'm going to do a giveaway soon. I asked my Patreons, like I have a bunch of stuff that I want to give away, but it's mostly like de-stashing stuff, but I do want to give it away because it's stuff that I receive for free. Um, and I asked my Patreons what they would like to win, so I'm going to do two giveaways, one for my Patreon, one for my subscribers, or YouTube subscribers. There's a siren. There is a siren. It is gone now. So I'm going to do two giveaways, one for my Patreons, one for my subscribers. And uh, Patreons will win whatever they voted on and subscribers will win everything else. <laughs> so we'll see. I'm not going to have like a video that announces the giveaway. I'm going to literally do it in a whip and chat. So if you are a regular to my whip and chat, uh, that will be coming up. I'm not sure exactly of the date when I'm going to do it, but I will be doing it soon. And yeah, life has been really good, guys. Last week I was really stressed out over work and my taxes and scruffy, but this week has improved immensely. So if you are having a terrible week this week or a terrible day, remember that tomorrow's a new day and next week is a new week. It can get better. That is my motivational talk, my motivational talk for you guys today. Uh, what else do I have to say? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to let you guys go and then I'll come back to do the rest of the drive-in chat, like another 10 minutes or so of recording. I'll do that after I'm done my Fit Body Boot Camp crap. So I'll be right back and yeah, hold on. Hello. So. I'm done my workout and currently on the way home just leaving the fitness place there's like this pub here they must have breakfast or people are just going to this pub really early in the morning for some reason but there's always people here they must like do a good job of marketing themselves for breakfast Oh my goodness, so working out, t working out today was super hard. It was a strength day. And my arms are jelly now, and my legs are jelly. I did, I had to lower my weights down two times because 15s were too heavy. Then I tried 12 dumbbells, and then she was like, lower them down to 10, get your reps in. So 10 pound dumbbells. <laughs> Anyways, not that you care about my workout regime. Now I'm heading home. I have to call a client back. And I have to send an email. And schedule some posts. Finish an audit I'm doing for a diamond painting company. But I'm not going to say who they are because it says in our thing that I'm not allowed to. So yeah, that's kind of cool. I get to look at diamond painting companies social media and audit them for them and like give them tips on how to improve what they're doing right etc and oh my god guys I need someone I need someone to take away my Amazon my Amazon account because literally literally I'm ordering all the fucking lip smackers well not all of them I ordered I ordered the a, a thing of lip smackers and I got the the soda ones I got Dr. Pepper Coca-Cola and I think it was root beer or something and I'm like I follow lip smackers on Instagram and I'm like fucking oh my god I'm swearing oops sorry I'm obsessed with with them I love lip smackers and did you know that like I was looking online and I don't think that they sell lip smackers anymore in the store but I'm pretty sure they do because I've seen them it's hard to find the traditional lip smackers like just watermelon and blah 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 but they have them on Amazon and I'm not buying them not buying them someone stopped me from buying all of the lip smackers because literally I will buy all of them and I will freaking eat them I think this is why 
no, I won't eat them. But I think this is why I love wax and diamond painting putty so much because of the smells. And I'm like obsessed with lip smackers. I'm obsessed with scented, scented flavored lip balms. I remember when I was young, like I was in junior high, so I don't know how old that was, like 13. I don't know, how old are you in junior high? Anyway, so me and my friend used to order from this lip balm company literally can't even remember the name of it but their lip glosses were three dollars American and back then three dollars American was pretty much equal to three dollars Canadian so it was like affordable we used to place massive orders with this lip balm company what the hell are they called I forget what they're called if I remember yeah if I remember look at the screen right now and I'll put the name here but literally um, I used to be obsessed with them and I like sometimes like every couple years because it's been like oh my god I'm so old it's been like over 10 years since we used to do that for our orders like 20 years oh my god I'm so old um, ever so often I'll go on their website and look at their lip balm and like be like no I can't order from them because their lip balm is really good and if you like lip balm that is what is it called that is kind of like wet not hard lip balm like if you like softer lip balm their lip balm is the best um but now it's like five dollars for one and it's like um excuse me five dollars american is like seven dollars canadian so that's like really expensive so i haven't ordered from them in like year, literally years but i remember one year when we were ordering from them i won a gift basket and the gift basket had like crap ton of lip balm like 15 flavors it had body spray in it oh I think I think what I'm gonna do is place an order after this um, I do have my GST refund so I mean I can use that <laughs> as I'm talking about no buying diamond painting budget um, I don't know it's just oh, what were they called pisses me off and their labels like literally they just tape on their labels it's so like ghetto and not like fancy pants or anything but their lip balm is so good and they have thousands of flavors I'm gonna I'll put the link in the description below and yeah hopefully I'll remember what they're called because literally AMG they were good but yeah I've been trying to not buy lip balm because I have an addiction to it but the scents it's the scents that get me and like most of these body places also make like body spray so I'm like on the hunt for a good bubble gum or cotton candy body spray because I want to smell like I did when I was a tweenager tweenager because I used to smell like cotton candy or bubble gum so literally I'm on the hunt for that <laughs> I'm such a child uh, but yeah so if you guys know where to get body um, body spray that is either bubble gum or cotton candy let me know please I think that Walmart actually has a brand that has cotton candy body spray so I think I might go to Walmart one of these days to scope it out the containers for my diamond painting gum are coming they're supposed to be arriving today just um, I ordered them on Amazon because I didn't want to wait for AliExpress to come through because it was going to be like three weeks and I really want to get going and send out some of the diamond painting gum to some people. I just got to master the flavors and then maybe by next week I'll be ready to send out little packages to people. And what else was I going to say? I don't know, but my groin <laughs> sounds so gross. My groin area hurts from working out. Like not my 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 V, but like my inner thighs hurt, okay? Just my inner thighs. Don't judge me. My inner thighs hurt from doing squats and all that deadlift and all that crap. Literally. Literally. I'm gonna go home and be like, crayon, my groin hurts. And he'll be like, eh, what? What? I also ordered, if you guys, did I tell you about this? No, I might have told my Patreons, but 
I used to drink Soylent. It's like a meal replacement. I used to drink it all the time when I worked at a marketing agency. And like a bunch of us would drink Soylent. So I got back on the Soylent bandwagon. And I'm going to start having Soylent for breakfast. So after I work out and have Soylent, they have a new mocha coffee flavored Soylent. So I ordered that. It's not too expensive. I mean, as a meal replacement, it's 12 for $57 or something like that. But I learned my lesson because I was like, I don't want to pay an extra $3 on the Soylent or on Amazon for Soylent because I'm cheap and it was like $3. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to order it from the Soylent website. And Amazon had prime shipping. So it was literally, it was literally, uh, two-day shipping or something like that but I was like no I'm not paying extra for Amazon screw Amazon and then so I ordered it from the Soylent website and it took a week and a half to get to me so I'm just gonna pay the extra three dollars and order it on Amazon next time because literally that was a long wait <sighs> that's my life guys um I don't know like people who do whip and chats have like longer ones because they have like a life and I literally like, and I know you guys get mad at me because I'm always, because I'm always like, I have no life. And you guys are all, you do have a life. You're busy. You do things. You work. Oh my God. Excuse me. Pistachio. Excuse me. Pistachio's like an old man. But um, you guys have kids and stuff. Like creators have kids so they can talk about their kids. And what am I going to talk about? My cats? Y'all want to know about my cats? Kenzu and Scruffy actually are... They're like not fighting as much, but it's mostly just Kenzu. Like Scruffy will be literally laying on the floor with his back to Kenzu. And Kenzu, for some reason, will get freaked out and like not bite him, but like not nip him even. Just like show like, like skim the top of Scruffy's back with his teeth and be like, meow, meow. And it's like, what are you doing, dude? He's not even bothering you. He doesn't even care about you. He's literally laying with his back to you. Why do you even care what he's doing, you know? So it's like kind of like, what the heck? So it's it's funny because me and Clayton were always so like, oh, what if the cat doesn't get along with Kenzu? What if the cat doesn't like Kenzu? Because we were all like, Kenzu's perfect. And now it's like, what if Kenzu doesn't get along with the cat? Because Kenzu is a little jerk. So whatever. I still love both of them and it's just like annoying sometimes and sometimes Kenzu will like so Scruffy like pees in one of the litter boxes and then on the other side of our loft we have another litter box and then so he'll pee in one litter box and then he'll go to the other one to poop in and the one that he poops in Kenzu's very like don't go there that's my litter box so he'll like get mad at Scruffy if he goes and tries to poop in the other litter box and so one day I was like at home and then I was like where are these cats like what are they doing they've been quiet for too long so I go and look and Scruffy because Kenzu didn't want him to poop in the box Scruffy ended up pooping down by the front door I was like what the heck is going on so I had to clean up his poo <laughs> oh, gagging noises it was really gross um but I had to clean up his poo and I'm like Scruffy just let him or Kenzu, just let Scruffy poop in your box. Like, it's not your box. Like, it's just a box. The bathroom box. Like, it doesn't matter if he goes poop in your own, in your box, you big jerk. So, whatever. Kenzu's just a little jerk. I love him. But he needs to not be such a jerk sometimes. Okay. So, I'm getting home now. And I will talk to you guys later. And thank you for watching. If you're new here and you made it this far... Let me know in the comments below by leaving, or actually by telling me what you're watching currently, like what you're binge watching. It can either be on YouTube or like Netflix or streaming service. Let me know what you've been watching because I need some TV and YouTube recommendations. So let me know. And if you're new here and you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing and joining my hive. All you have to do is click that button and I will talk to you guys later. I hope you have a really great weekend. Okay, bye.